Okay guys, what is this atrocious looking thing I'm making? Cheap wood, duct tape, duct tape, plastic, what is this? This is a little experiment that I'm starting. That's why I'm not putting too much effort into making this thing look good. This is going to be a bug box where I am going to try breeding some black soldier fly in my fish room. And the reason why I had to make kind of this box is the flies need a little bit of space to be able to fly around and do their breeding and stuff. So I put together just this super cheap little box made out of one by twos, lots of screws and duct tape and plastic. And it's, it's almost done. I'll finish it here in a few minutes. I just cut a hole in this piece of wire mesh because I need a way to be able to stick my hands into the bug box without letting all my flies escape. So instead of having like a door, I'll attach this piece of wire mesh. It's like screen door mesh. And there's this hole in it. I can reach all the way to the back if I need to. I can stick my little arm in there. Okay, the mesh was super pokey and sharp, so I made like this little duct tape barrier out of it. I'm a genius. Here's the piece now. I had this cloth bag that I think came with like a pair of boots or something um, with this little, what do you call it, string tie opening, and I glued it in place around that circle I made. And that, this is going to help me reach in and out and keep all the flies in. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've attached that piece with this mesh bag, and it looks good. I sealed the inside of it with some duct tape on the inside so nothing will crawl out of that little place right there. So now I can reach in and I can grab things, and I can reach back out. I can uh, pull tie it. I could seal it right here so no flies get out, or I could actually, I'll probably just bring the whole bag out and give it a little tie right there. It's almost done. Here's the finished product. The ugliest, most atrocious looking fly holding box I've ever seen. There's the top, nice taut screen so I can put my lights up there. Um, I'm gonna have to go around and make sure flies can't slip out of any tiny little holes. Maybe put some more screws in there. I think it's time to get some flies in there. I already have them. They're just, they're in a Rubbermaid container that I don't like very much, and I'm going to have to try to figure out how, I'm gonna, how I get them out of the Rubbermaid container without them all just flying away when I take the lid off. Okay, and I meant to have this box done two days ago. This is my bug box at the moment. Oh, it's just a Rubbermaid. It's not what I actually wanted to use to put my Black Soldier Fly experiment in, but I had my pupa in there and my pre-pupa, and they just, they started uh, pupating like two days ago, which is when I was supposed to have my experiment box done, but of course I didn't have it done on time. So now I have to figure out how to get all these flies into the real box. <sighs> which are going to be sitting right over here on this shelf in my fish room. Okay, I managed to slip an old bed sheet under the cover and I caught all the flies in there. Now I have to stick them in there. What I'm thinking is, let me just make sure I... All right, I can safely kind of do that to the cover and not lose any bugs. And I can stick my hand under here and just try to grab them with my hands, which might be hard, I don't know. Well, I did it. I caught all of them. Oh my gosh, I probably spent a solid 15 minutes just catching tons and tons of flies. But they're harmless, and they're kind of clumsy. These are all the pupa that I have left. Um, you can tell when, they're at, when black soldier flies actually turn into pupa because they get kind of hard and they go straight and their tail curves up just a little bit. Not their tail, but like their little end bit. Gets a little tiny curve to it. Okay, there it is. My super ugly experiment box. Fits perfectly on this little shelf of mine. I have to 
stand on a step stool here to even get up to it. Okay, here it is. Last night I had a few flies escape into the fish room, um, probably because I didn't have this little cloth thing secured very well, but now I don't think anyone else can slip through. Let's try to get a good shot of what's in there. So I have a, I have a little Tupperware full of the pupa still that haven't pupated. I have a container filled with chicken feed, damp chicken feed with some little cardboard bits where the females could lay their eggs. And I also have a container that has some wet coffee grounds in it with some more egg material. That's just so the females maybe have a little selection of where to lay their eggs. And then that's a water dish right there. Supposedly you can prolong the lives of the flies by giving them some water, so I'm trying it. And. Uh, wish me luck on this black soldier fly experiment inside. Guess we'll find out if it works. If you're wondering why I'm trying to start a black soldier fly colony in my fish room, then it might have to do with a certain early birthday present I got, and I'll be sharing that pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Wish me luck on the black soldier fly experiment. I'll, I guess I'll keep, keep it updated as I learn how I do.